Okay guys, so now we're in KIA. Alan's here with me. And we're heading to Sabah. <laughs> She has an impromptu room tour, excuse the mess, was Andrew's sister. So here you can see the bed. Oh, it's a little dark. Cameraman can adjust the brightness, please. Thank you. To the right side is the bed for Andrew and the lot meter. And here is the TV spot where they place their water bottles. And they place the boots next to the door because they're Asian and they don't like bringing dirt into the room. Now heading to the toilet, as you can see on the left, there's a mirror and a sink in the middle, a toilet bowl. And the right side is a shower that is heated. And right here you can see they place their coats and a vanity desk to make some tea, charge your phone and buy yourself. Heading to Pekan Kundasang. Let's go. I know why. Cause this is what you wanted all along now, isn't it? I think that all you ever really ever wanted was a reason to complain. That never stopped you before. Don't let it go. Hi guys, so today my sister and I will be climbing up Mount Kinabalu. That's Mount Kinabalu. Right, just a glimpse of where I'll be going. We'll be hiking from um, all the way to Panalaban and then we'll be resting for a night here. And on Saturday, tomorrow, we'll be going all the way to the top right there so now we're taking a van to Timpohon gate the start of the hike and this is Carlin's our mountain guide and porter so we moved some of our heavy stuff into one single bag which loosened seven kilos for us which was a really good choice So over here, Collins is giving us a brief before our hike. The total trail distance from Timpahon Gate to Panalaban is 6 kilometers, with a few rest stops in between. He gave us good advice like to hike at a slow constant pace for our body to acclimate with the altitude and to use shorter height distance between steps to reduce muscle strains. Also, it was at this point where we realized we weren't given our lunch pack, which was supposed to be eaten in the 4km mark, but we would lose time if we were to wait for someone to bring our lunch back to us. And thankfully we had power bars and dinner was anyhow served from 4.30pm onwards in Panalaban, so we decided to start without it. So we are about to start our hike, all the way up to Panalaban. Are you ready? I guess, as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> we can do this.
power bar. Shoes. <laughs> Say hi, wave and say thumbs up. Yo, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Gold. <laughs> Here we are at Laban Rata Rest House and we were literally above the clouds. Just look at that. This is the dining hall and we were waiting for dinner. Here I am just taking a look at pictures of past climbers. Was super tired so didn't feel much. Time to hit the sack. Now it's 12.30 a.m. Our breakfast is at 1.30 and we're supposed to uh, start our summit attack at 2 a.m. But it's pouring right now. I hope the rain stops. So let's see. What time is it right now? 1.07 Breakfast is at 1.30 They're making breakfast right now And we're already waiting for breakfast <laughs> well, Hopefully we can eat away the salt roll And hopefully the rain stops So that we can go up for the summit attack Clarence. All right, so ready? Hopefully, we can climb.
did it. Hi guys, so I'm back home now and I have my certificate with me and it's all framed up, fancy shmanshi. So anyone who reaches the summit will receive the certificate. It will say that you have reached Low's Peak, the summit of Mount Kinabalu, 4095.2 meters. And it will be signed by the park manager along with your mountain guide's name. For my case, it's Carlin Sullivan. So if you've watched till the end of this video, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like the video, do give a thumbs up. And if not subscribed yet, do consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.